throughout the last couple years, Jalen Phillips is a player that a lot of Dolphins players have been keeping their eyes on. Coming out of University of Miami, had so much potential. Athletic freak. He did have injury issues in college, but it was one of those players that if you if he gets it yeah. right on the field, can be one of the best players in the league. And already now, according to CBS Sports, according to Pete Prisco, he's already a top 100 player. He has him currently ranked at 95th. Uh, notably, Tua is not on this list. Xavier Howard is not on this list. Emmanuel Ogba, uh, Bradley Chubb, some player, some Dolphins players excluded from this list. There was also Jalen Ramsey, Tyreek Hill, and Jalen Waddle that did make this list. But Jalen Phillips coming and in Christian at the Wilkins. 95 spot. Oh, yeah, you're right. And Christian Wilkins did make the cut as well. But Jalen Phillips making the, the 95 spot really, really caught me from, by surprise that he's getting this type of respect already. Yeah, you know, he hasn't been able to get the respect outside of Dolphins fans. Because Dolphins fans, they watch him every game. And, like, his stats aren't going to, like, uh, like blow up your mind or anything. Like, he has very mediocre stats. But the fact of the matter is that every time you watch him on the field, he is getting, like, inches away from the quarterback. And it's just – and he's always the one – there and then his chase down tackles are also just like he's an athletic freak like his only um setback in college was his concussions where he actually retired for a year and then he came back uh he was at UCLA and then retired and then came to the University of Miami um and he is actually regarded as the best pass rusher in that draft class Notably, Micah Parsons and Gregory Russo in that draft class. I was, well, they just had injury concerns. I was, I was definitely going to say one guy definitely has stood up in, uh, above him once he's gotten into the league. Micah Parsons is already one of the best pass rushers in the league. But you look at those injury issues, and so far in his NFL career in two years, has not missed a single game. He got to, got to start 15 times last year as opposed to just five last year. And then you look at the progression in his numbers. He had 61 total tackles this year compared to last year's 42, 37 solo, 23 uh, last year. You look at the QB hits, 16 last year going to 25. The sacks surprisingly did take a dip. However, we all know that yeah. defensive well, he line had... had their own struggles because of how the secondary was playing, 8.5 yeah. to 7.0. But in most metrics, has gotten better And that one major concern from college. His injuries has not come up yet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and um, with with like his sacks taking a dip, it, it is mostly due to the secondary and how uh, poor they played last year. But like Dolphins fans know this, uh, and if you don't, I'm about to tell you. In the second half of his rookie year, so this was year two, his rookie year, his second half of his rookie year, him and Micah Parsons were tied in sacks. And they both led the league in sacks in the second half of last year, or 2021. Yeah, and in that rookie year, it took him a long time to get that first sack. It didn't come until he played the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in, like, mid-October. Yeah, it took a little while for him to get started, but once he actually, you know, got into the rotation, uh, he was obviously the, the best player at that position. I mean... Ogba had a really good year that year, uh, and he took a major dip this year. Um, but, uh, you know, he, he was very clearly the best at that position. Uh, kind of like how Zach Sealer Zach overtook Raekwon Davis for the right. second D deta- tackle spot. Very similar to that. And I'm really excited for when Jalen Phillips, you know, actually starts getting used correctly. Too often last year, we saw him dropping back into coverage. And, you know, he's, he's not a perfect player. Like, not every – not you can't just throw guys out there and ask them to do everything, especially on the defensive line. He is not a pass he, coverage linebacker, and that's okay. He doesn't have to be that. He's elite at getting to the quarterback. So I wanted to say, like, he's not a true linebacker. He's a 3-4 linebacker. He's like Von Miller. He's not he's not Andrew Van Ginkle. He's not David Long Jr. He's not Luke Keekley. He's not a true linebacker who can play both pass coverage I love how and you just up threw on the David line. Long than Luke Keekley. Like <laughs> the well, I, was just to, I, was, I was trying to I was just trying to think of like true like linebackers. I know what you mean, yeah. Uh, like he he's like he's just like a, a, a pass rusher, like that's what he is. He's a defensive end in uh, a four-three screen, 
4-3 scheme, but he's in a 3-4 scheme. So that's why he's listed as a linebacker. And so to drop him back like he is a true linebacker, I, it blew my mind. Like that was, I think, one of the reasons that he wasn't really used that well his rookie year or used that much his rookie year, not used well, used that much his rookie year is because of that. Like he does have the athletic ability, but he didn't, like you, you can't all of a sudden develop uh, a skill of covering people. Like that takes a long time to develop. Yeah. And well, I mean, one thing that, both of you and I have said so many times just in these last few minutes is just athletic ability. And then you look at him now and he's gotten even bigger. He's gotten stronger. He's gotten faster. So one can only assume he's just going to be even better than he was last year. If he gets suspended for PEDs, I wouldn't be surprised. I should say that's, that's, (laughs) that's how ripped he is right now. He is like, that's just dude is an absolute unit. And you know, I imagine, Imagine uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger like in his prime. Yeah, except playing linebacker, <laughs> playing playing edge yeah. rusher, except, <laughs> taller and, and wider than, than even Arnold may have been, um, and, and a stronger cheekbone. Well, I think I think both of them got pretty solid going. going yeah, right there. Um, I'll be completely honest. I probably would have held out on putting him in the top one hundred yet which is so that's why it's even more surprising to me because I, you know we're yeah. sitting here Dolphins fans and. I mean, I can't speak for you yet, but however, for me, top 100, I don't think it's something that I qu- quite would have done, especially there's a few Dolphins players that I would have considered He was actually over ranked him. above Darius Slay. Really? I, was Darius Slay Darius on the Slay list at all? Darius Slay was 96. Wow. So 96. One, one spot, yeah, let's, let's take a look. It's Darius Slay, Harrison Smith, Shaquille Leonard, Matt Judon, and Kevin By- Wow. Matt Judon is behind him? Matt Judon is 99. He's right behind, Bro, interestingly. No. Potentially, I told you I didn't like this list. Potentially future Miami Dolphin Dalvin Cook is the spot in front of him. Then Tremaine Edmonds, Patrick Peterson still makes the top 100, and Trey Hendrickson. So he's around some really good company. 